This is the story of a dog named Dinky. He was the cutest little doggy at the neighborhood. And so we took him home. This Dinky doggy. And he grew and grew and grew and grew. And he isn't a Dinky doggy anymore. No more. <laughs> and he isn't a Dinky doggy anymore. No, no, Dinky, no. Sandy, keep that over-blubbered sea monster out of my way while I come in for a landing. He's way out of your way, Uncle Dudley. Yes, he's bringing up the rear. Oh, Monica, this worldwide houseboat vacation is so exciting. I don't want to miss anything. I hope Captain Dudley misses that rocky breakwater. Uh, don't worry, I'll... I'll... Uh oh the engine's stopping. We're out of fuel and out of control. Oh, dear. We're drifting onto the rocks. I can't see her. We're going to crash. Dinky, quick. Give out with the old dinky tailspin. Oh. Hey, I can control the boat again. We're safe. We missed the rocks. Nice going, Dinky. I got to admit, he threw himself into the job. Oh, he's off the power. Hold it. We're about to dock. Hold it. He's off. He's out. on deck. Not only hands, but also feet and elbows. And now we can go ashore and stretch our legs. These Far East exotic ports are so enchanting. Well, don't get enchanted by all these exotic bargains in these shops. Dinky cost me plenty for the spare stock. We're not here to spend money foolishly. Right, Uncle Dudley. Oh, wow. It looks like something out of the Arabian Nights. Yeah, but watch out for snakes in baskets. Oh, I'd rather have fried chicken. No, Dinky. Come back here, Dinka. <laughs> oh, the poor puppy was hungry, wasn't he? Is Sandy, that mountainous dust mop you call a dog is going to get us into trouble. Uh, Unc, I think he already has. What do you mean? Hmm? Uh, yes, uh, well, uh, six pilasters. Wow, look at all these great shops. Right, so what are we doing standing outside? <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye, uh, Uncle Dudley. But, 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 girls, you stop that. Just sit there and be good like, uh, like that cat over there. Huh? What? Oh, no, why did I say that? for the damage. You know, it the last time. Okay, Dinky, that did it. You've managed to wipe me out. And don't give me those big innocent eyes. It'll take a genie to fix my finances thanks to you. Oh, oh, rock, rock. Hey, come back. There's nothing more to wreck in there. What? A broken brass lamp? You, you think this tiny, cheap junk makes up for the giant fortune you've cost me? Magic? What magic? You bull in a... Oh, hi, Unc. What did Dinky do? What did you do? Don't tell me you wasted money on all that junk. It looks like somebody else went shopping, too. And speaking of junk, what is that? This? Thanks to you-know-who, it cost a fortune. Good old Dinky salvaged this tarnished trash from some normal trash. What a good dog. Shine it up for him, Dinky. You're ridiculous. Oh, isn't that cute? Dinky's polishing the lamp. Hey, that lamp is lighting, and it's not even electric. Now, wait a minute. Could this be a magic lamp? Magic? Uh, Uncle, maybe you ought to go back to the boat and rest. In my magic lamp? I'll bet there's one of those genies inside. Wow! Something's happening! <laughs> See? See? Hmm, maybe Uncle Dudley is right. I might have known! Another fox! 
Huggy Doggy. Oh, yeah? You wouldn't look so hot either if you spent the last thousand years in a crummy lamp. He talks. I heard. Well, what do you think I do? Bark? Just what we need. A smart Alec genie. I freed you from the lamp, so I am your new master. Wrong, Buster. That canine klutz released me. I do his bidding. What? Dinky, this troublemaker? Yes. Don't you see the fun in that? What did you have in mind, uh, <laughs> master? Dinky, old pal. Do something big for your Uncle Dudley. Hmm, well... Him? Make him tall and handsome? <laughs> Not easy. How about just tall? A la kazoo! You wait a minute! Yo! Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh, Dinky, get me down! Yo! Get your cotton pick and claws off of me! Do something, Dinky! Bow wow, rough! Make up your mind! A la kashtring! Yikes! Oh, no! Our uncle is more like an ant! Your magic is mixed up! Well, how about this? Poor Uncle Dudley! Where is he? Pick the right genie beanie and find the teeny weeny! Ha ha ha! No! 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 Okay, where's our uncle? Yeah, you meanie genie! Don't lose your heads. After a thousand years, my magic could be a little rusty, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. I do keep a few secrets under my hat. Okay, Dinky, tell your goofy genie to stop horsing around! <laughs> nag, nag, nag. That wasn't horsing around, but this is I like a fly! Whoa! Whoa! Come on, horsey! Whoa! Whoa! I like a goal. Oh no, not that way! You okay, Uncle Dudley? Yeah, I, I think so. No thanks to this daffy dinky. I just wanted to be rich. Oh, uh, rock. Rich? Filthy rich. How about an oil well? Yes, yes, make me an oil well. <laughs> You're an oil well. Whatever you are. Picky, picky, picky. This isn't what I meant. I just wanted to be rich. You're all beginning to bug me. I've already granted you more than three wishes. I think I'll leave your buddy duddy gutching. Oh, no! Enough is enough. You owe Dinky one last favor. Oh, yeah? Well, I might turn my muck master into a mongoose. <laughs> Wait, wait, take it easy. <laughs> I was only kidding. My master, no violence, I can't stand it. Okay, okay. But this releases me for all time, right? Yes, and I'll leave a small token of riches. I like a slam and I scram. At last. How do you feel, Uncle Dudley? Fine, except for an oily taste in my mouth. You shim, that's no better. Gee, Dinky, you really took care of that crazy genie. Oh. Yes, and he sure took care of me. Get rid of that lamp. It's nothing but trouble. Look, it's full of funny gold coins. The genie's treasure of golden philasters. Uncle Dudley, you're rich. Well, I would have been. Thanks to Dinky, I broke even. Well, I've learned my lesson. No more of that magic stuff. What do you mean, huh? I traded in that cookie lamp for something practical. A nice down-to-earth throw rug. That's a good idea. I agree. Where are we headed next, Unc? Unc! Oh, no! <laughs> it's a flying carpet. He calls that down-to-earth? You gotta admit, it's one way to avoid thinking. Four degrees to port! I'm glad that genie business didn't get Uncle Dudley down. Yeah. You might say he rose above it. Oh,